Welcome to a world where everything I thought was good, nice, loving. Those words have no meaning here. This world is pure. You are beyond any meaning of the words. My name is Keith Wickham, Gordon Stryver. I came from the island of Soto we all knew and love. How did I get here? I'm still trying to figure that out myself. This is my story. It all started one day when Gordon and I were inside to deliver a package to Mrs. Kindly's cottage. We'd need to get there quickly since she was leaving Soto to visit her relatives for a week, so we thought to save time, we would deliver the package while on our all-daily express run. It didn't help that the weather was very bad, the rain hit the ground hard and the thunder and lightning was so loud that it caused my ears to ring. Gordon had recently gotten a new fire and that day, Stefan and myself, plus the top of the hat, got us a replacement. His name was Ted. He told me he was a scientist in his spare time as we watched the weather get worse as we breathed down the line. In an instant we were bombarded with lightning strikes, it affected all the Gordon systems. I felt dizzy, then I passed out. I woke up with a terrible headache and I was surprised to find I was still in Gordon. Then I noticed he had logos, badges, and symbols that said Soto Empire Engine. Another sign read Soto Empire. At the time, I was really confused. Gordon started calling me General Keith and reminded me that we were going to take Ted the traitor to kill in prison to be executed. I glanced back at Gordon's cab, and inside I saw a frightened Ted, who was tied up with rope and duct, and his mouth was duct taped shut. When I stared into his eyes, something inside of me told me this was the same Ted I had seen moments ago. We soon arrived at Shilton Prison and the warden came up to me and greeted me like a hero or something. He also thanked me for being in touch traded to him. The prison guards dragged him away, kicking and screaming. The warden pulled out a gun pointing to Ted's forehead and shot him in the head without any remorse. I kept playing moments like this one over and over again in my head, wishing that there was something I could have done. But if I had done something, I would be dead, too. The warden looked at me and said that I was making too much noise. He also told me to cut the engine that was causing problems. He directed me over to a blocked off part of the prison, and that's where I saw Edward, hoisting up in the air in his funnel, or ripped off, and he was very beat up. 